time for the Chiana Volpe Report, brought to you in part by Montauk Beverage by Village Overhead Door in Southall, by Victor Giannini, author of Counselor, by Maximus Health and Fitness, International Executive Protection, Watercrest Winery, Waters Crest Winery in Kutchog, and Michael Evans, author of The Real Matrix. Good morning, Gianna Volpe. I waited. I waited for you to say it. Good morning, Bruce. How are you? I'm all right. I'm a little nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't know. Because my mother's here. Your mother's a very nice, sweet person. I know. Very pretty, too. Did I mention that? Is, where is she? She's sitting right behind me. Mom, where? What, uh, you're not going to talk? Well, not at the moment. We're letting you do the Gene Casey oh. Oh, okay. segment. That's so we have good. we have things that we have to talk about. Yes, we have Gene oh, Casey grown up stuff. Studio. Did you put his? Did you? Do you have what happens lined up? <sighs> Bad baby. Bad little girl. Bad little baby. Baby, from what happened, Gene Casey and the Lone Sharks. Good morning, Gene. How are you? Good morning. That's the song that we wrote about you. <laughs> Did you know that? Did your oh, mother my know whole that? life. Did my mother know that? <laughs> she does now. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so um, Gene is playing tonight at One Guitar More, the benefit for Maureen's Haven um, outreach program. Here in Riverhead. Um, one at, of many performers. Yes, one of 30, I believe. I believe so. That is, and so, so Gina, how did you come in on this in the second year? Well, uh, you know, I heard about, they, they've done this show once before, and I heard it was a, a great success and a sellout. And, you know, I like to latch on to anything successful. <laughs> and uh, But they asked me, I, I know a whole bunch of, most of these performers I know, and uh, they're singer-songwriters, you know, and uh, I'm just happy to be part of the group, to be asked. What What were your, do you have one track, two track? How, how does it? I think everyone's basically doing one song. Right, because now it's 30, so. Yeah. So which, which one did you do? Uh, well, uh, I there's a song off that record we just, uh, the album we just listened to, a song called A Better Place. And uh, that's the one that the uh, Don Bracken, who's organizing the event, he likes that one, and he asked me to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was a, it was a request. It was. So, what was it like for you recording in that space? Uh, you referring to uh, the, the place, uh, McHargrave Studio? Oh, or? is that where is that where everything was done this year? Well, I believe uh, I think most of the recording was done uh, at Mix Studio. Um, at, at Lantern Sound that's recording right. rig L in yes. Manorville. Right, very yes. good. I believe so. At least mine was, and uh, it went very well. It's a cool studio, isn't it? In a house, yeah. It reminds me of a house from where I went to college in Columbia, Missouri. It reminds me of the Midwest. Like you know, there's like thirteen guys living there, and you know, like Is they that have what, parties what it was every like night. Going to college for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does your mother know that? Well, my. Right. It's not like, but see, the thing is, is we're that talking I was one right of now. Can you leave us alone? Thank you. <laughs> I, was one of the, I was one of the guys. You were one of the I'm guys. Not, so Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Could you repeat that, please? I was one of the guys. You were one of the guys. I told my mom I wouldn't talk about like this on the show. You were one of the guys. Yes. I'm sorry. My mom's giving me the. Oh, your mother's like, mean, she's like doing the, the international yeah. cut signal. Yeah. For a woman who's never been in a radio station before, she, she knows. knows the cues. <laughs> well, she, <laughs> she does can't. sign. I took her to Waters Crest last night, and she's signing along to Chris Hurley and Joe Alley. Really? Alpew. Yeah. When she, when she drinks, And she's doing she it now behind when me. She does she know that this means 30 music? seconds? <laughs> and then, wait, wait, Mom, do you not know? How do you do that one again? And then... That's 30 seconds. That's technically liar. We can't see. This isn't helpful for radio. This is, this is radio. Yeah. Yes. People in radio so, land have no idea. I have no on. idea what we're doing. That's fine. That's okay. Why? Why should today be any different than <laughs> any All other right. day? Well, anyway, we were talking about Maureen's Haven, which yeah, is a phenomenal um, cause. I, personally, I've I've been in um, I've been homeless in Riverhead before, and I remember just knowing that Maureen's Haven was there. 
that there was there was uh, services for me made me feel less alone and less um, hopeless. Sure. And I remember when they opened um, the place here. What is it on Washington Avenue? No, it's well, the, the next Maureen's door. Haven. Maureen's Haven is more. Um, Right up they do it in various churches and parish right, halls. Right, right, they do. Like, um, you know, I, I had once participated in, in you know, in, in doing this thing um, in Hampton Bays. And or I know, at, I know or, they do Pardon me, at the East Park United sometimes. Methodist Church we did it. Have you uh, you'll see it done, like, you know, over here at St. John, the Evangelist. Dennis Ewan is very involved in that these days. I think he's become the executive director. Really? Um, yeah, and I know Dennis a long, long time. But the beauty of, of uh, and it was all, this all began as the, uh, because for a nun, that is named for a nun, Sister Maureen. And what they do, and, and Jean knows this, and Jean, you know, they go around on really cold winter nights right. looking for homeless and offering the chance to, you know, coming out of the cold, so important. have a nice hot meal. A so nice warm place to the, stay. When the temperature drops, yeah. you know, you find human popsicles. And you you, you find it. This usually uh, goes on between um, between November and May mm -hmm. um, when it's cold out. And it's it's very much a volunteer organization, although, yeah, they do have expenses. Um, but, you know, of, of parishioners to various churches out here. And then I think they've got live music sometimes. Um, have you ever played for them, Yes, Jean? we've done several uh, annual uh, events, fundraisers, and uh, f for this organization. Uh, so I'm happy to be associated in that way. They're so great. And so, and, and if you want to go, to please come to the show tonight, 7 o'clock at the Vale Levitt, oneguitarmore.brownpapertickets.com, or come straight to the box office. Yeah, I think there'll be some seats. Yeah. Uh, but it's a wonderful theater for people who've never been to uh, the Vale Levitt. Classic old, old vintage uh, theater, and that's part of the, the kick for us. It's just right. just playing in there. One of, the, one of the only two-floor opera houses in the world. It's... Uh -huh. it's Modeled I after think, uh, uh, Lincoln was shot there, right? <laughs> You're right. That, right. Well, it was that? modeled. It's modeled oh. after, oh. after that theater. Fort's theater. Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. But um, the tickets are thirty dollars. As opposed that to the Chevrolet theater. <laughs> that includes the uh, CD. No Dodge Brothers extent. theater either. What? Nothing. I was just going through the car manufacturers who did not have a theater. <laughs> oh, the f oh Ford. Yes. Ford. It was Ford's theater in Washington. Okay. No, no General Motors. You no. Know, okay. No GM dealer, uh, f a theater. No uh, Dodge Brothers. No Renault theater, for those of you who were at the foreign. Etzel Theater. Wait, wait, Etzel Ford was, Etzel was a Ford, right? Etzel was a Ford. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Ford. Oh, man. And it was actually a beautiful Not car, the one to too, bring up. but people <laughs> didn't get it. <laughs> Not the model of car to, to, to bring up. For we're doing good. Yeah. We're yeah. doing fine. It's fascinating, by the way, folks. <laughs> we're, we're, we're killing Gene on this one. Gene is just sitting, his eyes are rolling back I in know. his head. I hope you... You'll come back someday, right? <laughs> when you guys speak English, I might be able to <laughs> follow it. You know, it's funny. You said the same thing the last time, about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. It takes about a year for him to recover. You know why? So now, you're at the Vale Levitt tonight, right? Yes. And, and, we, and Gianna was just mentioning that the, the $30 ticket price yes. does include the CD. Which is of so Of all cool. these artists yeah. doing the stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good deal. I oh, think. yeah. And, the, think. and there are so many. And everyone, it looks like... And what time, Gene? 7 p.m. 7 o'clock. That's when it starts. And how many artists are, are on, on, on the bill tonight? 30. We, we think 30. 30? We're adding some. Including, this yeah. will be a long show. If people are going to get their yeah, money's uh, worth. Everyone uh, does one song. Oh, so Don Yeah, but even so, you figure the average song is like three and a half, three, three or four Don, minutes. That's Don a two-hour show at least. Don sure. Bracken's playing. Don's playing. Yes. Robert Bruy, Brian Downey. Carrie, I think, is playing. Um, Carrie? Kerry Carney. Kerry Carney. Oh, oh, yeah. He's going to be, he's the second half guest. The second half guest. Yes. Okay. Um, Mix playing, Rory Kelly, Dean Fritcher, Greg Root. Uh, it, it looks like Valerie everyone. Levine, Alina yeah. Kay, and uh, uh, Chuck Finch. If I, if we Fred Raimundo. Yeah, we're going to. They're going to be mad yeah, at Yeah, people so. are going to be pissed. So let's just stop. But anyway, <laughs> I'm super excited about tonight. Um... I went last year, and I'm going to... I don't know where I'll sit or what I'll do, and, but I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. You should be emceeing this show. I think so. That Maybe next year. No, you should be the emceeing. Do you ever do that? 
Yeah, no. You never MC the show. It's easy. Yeah, no. All I you think, do is bring on the acts. I think that I'd be decent at it. I think you would steal the show. We'll see. Then now you no would one's be gonna. The show. No one's gonna want me to MC ever. Well, Come on. Talk about your college days and. And yeah. Being one of the boys. One time I beat up a guy dressed as Rudolph. <sighs> because your mother is sitting right here, listening, taking this all in. <laughs> He was, he was fighting my friend. It was a holiday party. Jean? Yes, yes. <laughs> now you know why she's single. Boys are afraid to go out with her because they'll she'll beat the hell out of them. But that's anyway, not true. What? It's a seven o'clock show. Tickets at the box office. Thirty yes. dollars per, per. Or just walk up to the to, to the theater tonight. I think we'll have a few. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a beautiful it's a beautiful venue, and I think um, for what you guys are doing is perfect. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely perfect. It um, was great last year. We did we the War of the Worlds time. there last year. Um, the reenactment of the radio oh, play. Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. You know, oh, cool. and, and you've done it before, so you know the drill. That's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, place to perform. The acoustics, and are it's amazing. a really good place. And the acoustics are perfect yeah, over there. Yeah, they are. And and it's an even better place to take in a performance. I remember talking. And to then afterwards, it's like all sorts of venues to go and get like a snack or whatever. Yeah, the Vines and Hops is a big one. I remember Vines and Hops, year, you got Tweeds, everyone. you got uh, Dark Horse, you got right. Parabell. Yeah. You got uh, Mozzie. Sonoma Grill. Sonoma Grill, but that's way down the street. Yeah. Um, you don't have Papa Nick's or Riverhead Grill because they're closed. But that's a great place to get but breakfast. A, I'm gonna there you there. go. I'm sure you're going to hit your mother up, mom right? afterward. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, Gene. Yes, sir. I'm still here. Think about it, about a year. You'll b b take about a year to recover from this, and you'll come back and visit again. I I hope so. I'm gonna mold this whole thing over a little bit. <laughs> oh come on! Was it really that bad? It's wonderful. Who's Jean, grim? It's are you for real? It's great. It was okay. Uh, anytime you want me, I'll talk. As <gasps> yeah. long as you have fresh figs from your grandmother's <laughs> fig tree. Yes, which I did this that morning. Was <laughs> that was because of my mother. Thanks, mom. Thank God. Now the grandmother knows too. Now. That's, oh yes, yes. I now know. she knows. Anyway, Shout out to my siblings. Thank you very much thank for coming you, up. Gene. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you all tonight at we the Villa Livet here in Riverhead. Thank you. Nothing goes with a day at the beach, playing sports, working in the yard, or just relaxing like a nice cold iced tea. And Montauk Beverage Works iced teas will quench that thirst on the hottest summer day. Whether it's iced citrus black tea, red berry hibiscus white tea with peach, or half and half with lemonade, or their lemonade, Montauk Beverage Works iced teas and lemonade refresh you better than a glass of water down your back on a hot summer day. Montauk Beverage iced teas and lemonade are all natural iced teas made with premium teas. Their sweetened teas use only cane sugar, and there are no artificial flavors or preservatives in their iced teas and lemonade. So get some Montauk Beverage Works iced teas and lemonades. Let them get a chill in your refrigerator, and then when you're looking for something refreshing and good, open one up and enjoy it. Montauk Beverage Iced Teas and Lemonades are available at all four Blue Duck Bakery Cafe locations and at finer stores throughout the East End. An overhead door serves a purpose, and it should be as beautiful as the rest of your home or building. For more than 30 years, Village Overhead Doors has been creating and installing beautiful garage doors for contractors and homeowners on the north and south forks. They also install automatic garage door openers that open with the click of a remote, so there's no getting out of the car in bad weather. For a wide range of styles from lifetime steel doors to custom-made wood doors and for all your garage door needs, please call 765-4963 today and find out how your garage door can be a beautiful focal point of your home or building's exterior. Village Overhead Doors of South Hole, 765-4963. Make the call and let them add beauty and value to your home or business. Maximus Health and Fitness of Riverhead is 25,000 square feet of everything you need to create a new you. Maximus Health and Fitness, 130 East Main Street, has state-of-the-art exercise equipment, free weights, professional personal trainers, and private workout areas. They're next to the Suffolk Theater in the heart of historic downtown Riverhead. Use their child facilities, tanning stations, a hair salon, and smoothie bar with your membership at Maximus. Your membership also includes a full calendar of fitness classes like cross-training, weight training, 
training, boot camp, Zumba, spin, yoga, Pilates, and a lot more. Start a new, healthier lifestyle that you can stick with all year long. Join Maximith Health and Fitness, 130 East Main Street in Riverhead. Call 369-6293. 369-6293. Check their website at MaximusRiverhead.com or come on in to Maximus Fitness today. Maximus Health and Fitness, being healthy and getting in shape has never been easier. Every villain thinks they're a hero, especially on the east end of Long Island. Timothy Dune is one such man. He's a tortured soul, and you won't be able to put down Victor Giannini's new novel, Counselor, as you're reading about him and what could happen to the East End. Roger Rosenblatt of Time magazine called Counselor an important piece of work. Robert Reeves says Counselor is compelling and will linger in your mind. Don't bury your head in the newspaper or in the sand. Read Counselor, Victor Giannini's new novel, available in paperback or on Kindle from Amazon.com or Silverthought.com. Counselor, the story of what once was an idyllic place that's become home to McMansions and private estates and its effect on one person. Counselor by Victor Giannini, available on Amazon.com. Back on the Gianna Volpe Report, brought to you in part by Waters Crest Winery in Kutchog. By Victor Giannini, author of Counselor. By Village Overhead Door in Southold, Maximus Health and Fitness. Michael Evans, author of The Real Matrix. And International Executive Protection. So before we bring on our next guest, I just want to thank our previous guest, Jean Casey, for coming into the studio this morning. Um, my, mom was, mom, my mom was really happy to meet him. Virginia was like going to confession and doing penance. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You, you can't always hit it. Um, and next we've got <laughs> Carrie Carney, uh, hands down, best blues musician on Long Island. Um, he's going to be playing at the Suffolk Theater. I saw on the marquee, um, Room Full of Blues with Rob Europe next, I guess in October. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? Hello? Carrie? Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay, cut it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Carrie is the man with the magic fingers. Um, so Carrie is not only going to be at the Suffolk Theater next month, but he's going to be at the Vale Levitt tonight for One Guitar More, the Benefit for Marines uh, Haven Outreach Program um, and Homeless uh, Shelter. Correct? Correct. So how did you get involved with One Guitar? Um, they can call me, Mick Hargreaves, he'd give me a buzz. A few months ago, I mentioned it to me all about the, uh, about the show and stuff like that, about what was going on. Not about the show, about the CD that they were doing. And for the good cause and stuff like that. And I said, I'd love to do it. It was great. Right. So and so... We went through a studio, we did a, we did a tune, and, and uh, here I am. So, so uh, tonight's the night. Which, which, which tune are you, did you do for the concert? You know, it's just only just about, about the play, actually, but it's an acoustic version of it. Creole Woman. Oh, you're doing Creole Woman? Yeah, but it's, it's acoustic. It's a funny, it's a, um, it's more of a Piedmonty blues. The one that you, you were playing just then is more of a slower type of chicago -y type of type of blues. And uh, the one I, I'm doing is going to be like more of an uppity kind of finger-picky type of like acoustic blues. Nice. But, uh, yeah. Awesome. Cool. You know, Mom, did you know where Piedmont is? Uh, yes. What, do I, what, what Piedmont is? Yeah. Yes. Um, it's, it's in, uh, it's in, no, it's in, it's in Georgia. No, yeah, no, um, Pied, like Piedmont style guitar, like it, it, we're from the region in Italy that it's from. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's cool. okay. No, don't be sorry. <laughs> and and also um, Creole. I'm Cajun, so I'm like all excited. Was that the track? Is that the track that you played, Bruce? That was Creole Woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Creole Woman's song. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. So it, so you just you're doing it differently. A little differently, yeah. Blues is like that. Blues, you can kind of. 
break up a bit. It's just funny how you can use your own um, key to it. With the still the same meter of the of this other world. That's what's kind of cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. So when are you when are you playing tonight? I'm actually playing second, so I'll be outside Okay. So, when I find yeah, so it's cool. So yeah. so and this the show starts at seven o'clock. So definitely make sure you get there on time so you can see Carrie Carney because Carrie's the baddest, the baddest guy. Oh, he's so nice, he's so nice. <laughs> so, and I'll, and I'll be there, um, when is it, October 23rd? Yes, at, at, the, at, the, at the Summit Theater, yes. So, with, um, with Rob, of course, Rob Europe. Right. Rob Europe. And, um, and uh, we're full of blues, so I'm very excited about that. That's it. really exciting. Right. So how did, how did you two hook up? Oh, uh, with that, um, I was called by, we were called by, uh, by the, the, um, by the theater, actually. Um, we had done a couple of things before with Room Full of Blues. Okay. We had played with them before, and I know we played with them, so we wanted to do another show with them, so it's great. That's also, that's through Clutch, probably. Clutch, yeah. Clutch yeah. Riley. <laughs> He's a cool, I love Clutch. I really do. So that's going to be a great show. Uh, you know, Suffolk Theater is beautiful as well. And then tonight at 7, One Guitar More. Um, yes over at the Vale Levitt and that'll be at 7 and it's $30 to go but the price of admission includes the CD um, which will have Creole Woman on it so it's just it's That's a right. Car Carrie Carney band oh uh, no it's myself it's, it's be a, oh we could a, right. that's what's interesting about it it's, it's about 30 musicians all playing on the same guitar the same all beautiful 61 Gibson um, J45, J45 guitar, yeah which that, is really fantastic and what was the guitar like for you to play with it, it was great it was um, I have a, a collection of old guitars myself and it was kind of like an old glove it was it was really just a really great great piece and it's made it a really really beautiful time that, that's like the heyday of the uh, like we're at the turning point of the heyday of, of guitar making at the time right at the cusp of like rock and roll and at the imminency of it actually they started like getting into a lot of um, different kind of designs and this and that that's but that so was cool. an old classic design so it's a great great instrument I yeah, wonder what it's beautiful. like for Don to have you know so many talented hands on on that instrument you know yeah that was that was his, that was just kind of his dream it's kind of like his, his dream thing to do to get that going like that and get everybody playing and they're all they've got styles you know so it's great yeah. uh, have they asked you back for next year are they doing it again you know they're doing it I think at the uh, Atrog Theater in a few months they're doing it I think they're going to have it there also oh cool alright so, uh, that, that, that's pretty cool yeah that's awesome alright yeah and every all thirty, all thirty artists. I think so. They asked everybody if they would come back and do it again. So I'm like a little bit of like a, maybe a little more of a west. That's so back good. west a little bit to show what's going on too with the uh, with the whole cause and everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I was. I mean, I was talking in the first segment about you know Maureen's Haven is is such a phenomenal, um, it, 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 well, not service but organization. Um, yeah. You know, looking for people. When the when the temperatures drop to make sure that they they can make it through the night, um, sure, you know, and uh, that they can eat and whatnot. I think we've got uh, about 330, 337 um, individuals that are being served at the moment. Wow, um, wow. Yeah, and I, and I mean, you know, it's a small community out here, and I just love that yeah. we kind of we take care of our own. Yeah, I'm so glad to help too. So glad to be there. I mean, whatever they, whatever they need. You know, actually, I, mean, I'm, I'm I remember seeing um, a post that you that you wrote on Facebook about that, about you know, do, do you like playing benefits? You know, you know, I do. This it's it's a um, there's something about the, the helping of the uh, of the really the unfortunate with stuff, and it, it, I mean, if I you know if I have the, the ability. And the means of whatever it is, or to, to be able to like do that. I mean, I'll, with all my my power of what, what's going on, I'll, I'll do it. Seconds, you know. what I mean, it's like, right. I, I, the same thing as like when I, when I see somebody in the street, even panhandling. Like I always, for some reason, I always like, you know, I always have the thing where I turn around if I walk by them, they're saying something. I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on? And I'll hand them something because I feel like you know, I mean, they, for the grace of God, goes eyes as well. You know. Right. Someday it could be me. You never right. know. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of ways too. But just the idea of it, just like just to help you feel, you know. You know Person, so. I, yeah, I thought yeah. that was I thought that was so so great because you were talking about uh, as a musician, you know, playing benefits and and giving back in in whatever way you can, and I definitely feel that same way. Um, you yeah. know, any any way I can help out my fellow man, I'd like to. And um, yeah, 
you know, and that's why I had you and, and Jean on this morning just to let people know to go tonight, 7 p.m. Yeah. at Vale Levitt um, for One Guitar More. It's raising money for Maureen's Haven um, Homeless Shelter and Outreach Program, um, and it's $30, and it includes the price of the CD. So you'll get the CD with 30 a phenomenal local Long Island artists. Um of of all persuasions and it's going to be a, a great time tonight i'm looking so forward to it um bruce are you gonna come <laughs> uh, i'm hearing about it now for the first time but i wanted to ask, i was intrigued by one thing carrie said a while ago which is um you had said that you could do a blues song and not do it the exact same way twice and you know that 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 was part of the genre, and I'm wondering if that's a commonality that that blues would have with jazz and jazz singers, because jazz singers never sing the same song twice the same exact way. There's always a certain improv to it. Is that the same in in the blues genre? Yeah, a, a good example is Jimmy Page. I mean, yes. you know, Led Zeppelin was basically an electric blues band, like in a, mm-hmm. in a, in a progressive way, and Jimmy Page when he did Stay Away to Heaven. He took three guitar solos, and he used one when he recorded it. So he on on the tracks, he had three different guitar solos in Stay With Heaven at the end of Stay With Heaven, and one of the ones he used. And he never, and he would hint to it when he played live, but he would never play the same thing again twice. Oh. So what you hear as this iconic, you know, masterpiece of of rock and roll history is the only time it went through, and that's it. Boom. So it's all it's all imp- improv around a pentatonic scale or a major scale. And what you'll do is when you play it again, that's what it is. So it's never really the same thing. Unless, you know, unless you're doing something where it's got to be exactly there's some kind of like iconic, you know, um, riff or something like that when you're doing something. That's one thing. But when you're doing like a solo or you're improving something of the song itself, you never really play it twice the same. It's, mm-hmm. that, that, that's how open blues music is to like the whole, it. you know, to be able to do things differently. It's great. I love that's it. what I love about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, so, so Creole Woman off the one guitar CD, also off the new record, Black. Well, is it Black or Black Coffee? Because it's Black and then there's... You know, you know, you know what it is? It, it's actually... It's, this is the funny thing about it. Is that everybody calls it Black. I never really told anybody really what it was called. But what it is, it's 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 a teabag label from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> That's what it is. I had it in my wallet for a long time. And when I saw it, I said to myself, you know, this would make a great T-shirt and a great album cover. And it would make people ask about it and make people like think about what it is. Every blues album, every blues rock album, there's always like a, you know, there's always a boss scene, a guy sitting there with a drink and a woman sitting next to him, or a guy in a car, or like, a, like a hot rod or something like that. It's always right. a whole thing. It's all and I thought to myself, you know something, if you were more Andy Warhol esque, yeah. you know, it'll be somewhere you can look at and see, you, you say to yourself, well, what is that? It'll be something people will ask about, you know, that's why I kind of made it like that. And it's a very simple looking thing. What I did was instead of having, the DD for Dunkin' Donuts. I had KKD put in there. Yeah, so, I love it. So it's kind of like I ripped it off. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they sue me. They sue me, it would be great. It would be in the papers. That would, yeah. <laughs> Free press. No press is, is bad press. Well, yeah. thank you. But, but I mean, you can call it whatever you want. I mean, people call it black, black coffee. So what matter. What do you call it? I mean, I just, it's basically a self-titled album. It's cake, the cake, carry on again. All right. With the, with, the, with the thing on it. But, but you can call it, I mean, everybody calls it black, so that's fine. Well, yeah. are you going to have them tonight at the theater? You know, I will, but I, I feel like I, I don't want to get, you know, so in the way of people buying things for the, uh, for the homeless. Right. If anybody wants to buy a CD, I'll give half my proceeds to they want. Oh, if that's great. All right, so yeah, if you get cool. if you get Carrie Carney's new CD tonight, half will go half of the proceeds will go to Maureen's Haven. Seven o'clock tonight, thirty dollar tickets includes the price of the CD at the Vale Levitt tonight. One guitar more. Thank you so much, Carrie, for coming on with me this Thank morning. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we'll see you again next week. WRIV local news headlines you can trust. Having the Guardian Angels in Southampton Town could be good, and Brookhaven keeps its AAA credit. Nothing goes with a day at the beach, playing sports, working. If you're feeling guilty about the past, worried about the future, feel stuck in your present situation or you're depressed, there is a reason for that. Your perception of yourself was formed by the adults you grew up around, school, and now as an adult, you're surrounded by people who say suffering is normal. You're bombarded by commercials that try to sell you something to change your self-perception 
or by photoshopped pictures of celebrities in magazines. You live in a matrix that's built on lies. The real metric pulls the curtain back on those lies. Things are about to change for you. If you're ready, order your copy of The Real Matrix by Michael Evans now or download it at therealmatrixbook.com. All proceeds will be donated to charity. Discover who you really are and not what others want you to believe. More and more executives understand that in the world they live in, they are a target, and that's why more and more of them have protection. Now you can be part of this growing industry. International Executive Protection can help you on your way to being a certified protection operator. This is a growth industry that relies on people with clean backgrounds, high ethics, and a willingness to get involved. International Executive Protection teaches you everything, so when you're on assignment for them, you'll be able to deal with anything that comes up, from disruptive fans to disgruntled former employees. Safety is most people's biggest concern, and the best part of it is that being a certified protection operator helps you stay safe too. So call 1-727-422-7233 and get all the details for yourself. That's 1-727-422-7233 or by email to info at internationalep.com for international executive protection. Waters Crest Winery, 28735 Main Road in Kutchog across from Wickham Fruit Farms is the crest of the North Fork. It's a small boutique winery where the whites are dry and crisp and the reds are big and bold. Their grapes are carefully selected from local North Fork growers and made into wine that will be remembered long after the meal is finished or the celebration is ended. They're open daily at noon until 9 on Friday and Saturday nights. Their tasting room features food from Touch of Venice, so the experience will be everything you are hoping for and then some. They're nationally known for their fine wines, so come and see for yourself what everyone is talking about. There's music every Wednesday evening from 7 until 10 to chase those midweek blues. Call 631-734-5065 or come on in to Waters Crest Winery on the main road in Kutchuk across from Wickham's Fruit Farm. Waters Crest Winery, the crest of the North Fork.